Hello and welcome to Daily Astrology with me, Chloe Rose, where we will send tensions and hone our intuition, studying universal symbols in astrology. Today is Jupiter Day. Jupiter Day, 27 degrees Aries. So this is like the grandmaster day of taking action. The energy of Jupiter is uh, going to really be felt. It's going to feel um, like endurance, like peace, um, like the ability to remain in your element, maybe when some things are coming at you. Um, as it's Mercury retrograde, not all of the information presented is um, available to be understood. It, there's always like going to be some way of misperceiving what is actually going on. And the inside degree for today is a fun house. So how fun is that? Um, I love what's been going on today. A lot of um, bold action, a lot of being very meticulous for certain factors and um, being able to use this energy of a fun house already without having read the inside degree description for the day. I'm noticing that as the sun is in Taurus and we're shifting into summer season with the full moon eclipse on Friday, some things aren't going to make it into our summer, but these are the things that like we we never wanted to have as a long-term vision. They were just a bridge. They were the grateful bridge, the, the bridge that brought us to where we are now and that has transformed us into who we are now. And maybe the lesson was like, this isn't worth my time or I'm better than this. But even with those lessons, there are ways that we learn to master our energy, and that's what we're doing. This is the walk that we're making. Um, I'm going to read this description of the Fun House and then go into my 28-day um, self-study guide, The Book of Fortune. So the playground of the world is both wide and open and oddly synchronistic. Anybody can go anywhere and do anything. But sometimes you come up against yourself no matter where you look, and you meet your shadows and illusions coming back at you in every form you are desperate to deny. A frenzy pursues stimulus, entertainment, distraction, and diversion. Felt that today. And the world arena turns into a hysterical proposition of dramatic echoes, making the whole journey too obvious, too direct, and too brutal. The only postponement tactic, tactic left is to devise whole world of self-justification and self-vindication to harbor you just long enough to let you face the rakacious feedback loop that is trying to tell you that being a personally sorry smoothie is being made downstairs um being a personality on the loose is a great disguise and is not covering your nakedness and never did so postponement um echoes of ourself that we're facing but it's a fun house so um i think that i'm learning to use my voice in so many ways like i've been doing my straw training i've been training my voice since about october dedicatedly like maybe maximum i'll miss like a like a week maximum but that's only happened like once and for the most part it's been like one or two days over the past um oh my gosh from october to may yeah, it's been over um, six months now. So this has been a relationship that, um, or just coming into six months that I've been honing with myself. And um, on this Thursday, I want you all to intuitively look at the areas of expansion that your identity is allowing for you to be. You are just this person now. Maybe you can even chart the difference in yourself from a year ago and the um, affirmation for today. Ooh, I said this is a kicking. Um, I am boldly accepting myself and holding my community in love today. So, who is your community? What are you all going for? Um, and how are you making your life simpler, more genius, more refined? How are you picking up the pace while losing nothing? You're no longer losing energy. It's all a feedback loop just like in our inside degrees. So this full moon eclipse um, with the moon currently in Scorpio is showing us what is worth the investment, what never was, 
and how we could shift into a constant state of appraising the value of something from the outside, allowing ourselves to use more than one sense to actually pick up on its energy and to make decisions based from that level of knowing, of self-assured vision, of inner vision work. So ooh, I hope that you are celebrating your eclipse with a lot of culminating genius. And um, really improving your vision of yourself. Last week, Venus was um, on my fortune, 25 degrees Gemini. And I think that with Venus and Gemini, the value that we will take into Gemini season has been fully fledged with that Mars retrograde. We've had the opportunity to really fine tune how to get what we want using our creativity, using our inner childhood spark and now our identity is allowing us to fully act on it so like attracts like um some things that broke down just know that they were the epic ending to that story because for something to end that means something new can begin and with a like pre numbral lunar eclipse which means imperfect alignment we're gonna see a non-linear but amazing uh, depth of how our position has changed as we've heightened our passion and given granted ourselves more access to it like we've been making ourselves more accessible to actually receive this end state so blessings to you on your path happy jupiter day i hope that you celebrate with so much abundance and many blessings on your path aloha